Hello, everyone. Welcome to the El Paso Northeast Seventh-day Adventist Church. My name is Harold. I'm the church treasurer, and I have a devotional for you today. I think it's going to be near and dear to everyone's heart, so let's get started. As you go through reading the Bible, it's kind of an unequivocal fact that everyone is going to find something they find a favorite in there whether it's a verse, a chapter, a passage, or even an entire book of the Bible, something is going to strike home and be your favorite. In my many times through the Bible, I have found one that I invariably keep going back to as my favorite. And I'd like to talk about that this evening. That is a 23rd Psalm. Let me read it to you. I'm going to be reading from the King James Bible. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A lot of people have read that. I'm sure it's very familiar to everyone. But let me read it the way most people, I think, hear it. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. He maketh us to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth us beside the still waters. You get the idea. When King David wrote that psalm, he used exclusively what are called singular pronouns. I, me, my. And there's a reason for that. David was not a perfect man. But he had supreme confidence, faith, belief, and trust in his God. My God, your God, our God. And he got that because he had a very deep personal relationship with this God. David was born a thousand years before Christ was born. Yet we have the chance to develop that same faith and trust, and belief in Jesus Christ. Since I became a member of this church, and since I accepted Christ as my personal guide, my counselor, my conscience, my Lord, and my Savior, I have developed a personal belief and a personal relationship through Jesus Christ with God. Every one of you, can do that. You can have that faith. You can have that same belief, that same trust in our supreme God, our Savior, that David had in his. All you need to do is read, understand, know that God is with you. God is in control. Whatever happens in your life, there's a meaning to it. And it all leads to his ultimate conquering at the end and bringing in his kingdom to this earth of which we can all be a part if we simply develop that personal relationship with Jesus Christ, our Savior. I thank you very much for your time today. And I'd like to bless all of you and thank you again.